When you're at a frontier, you have to look at the whole landscape in order to be aware of where the valleys and the peaks are so you can make good decisions about which ones to traverse. We need the Paul G. Allen Frontiers Group today because bioscience is still a young field. The many mechanisms that nature has evolved over millennia are an unsolved hard problem. And much like bringing computers to the world 50 years ago was a major challenge and a major opportunity, we think the next 50 years holds that same magnitude of opportunity for bioscience. Paul has a vision to create new knowledge at the very boundaries of bioscience. To have someone who is one of the real founders of the modern sort of computer era be engaged in supporting fundamental research in biology I think is profound. The largest gap in the scientific world right now is not our ability to discover new things, but our inability to discover new things because we don't have the right funding. And this is where the Allen Frontiers Group is making a significant difference, which is going to impact not just UC San Diego, but uh, to be honest, the whole society. There's a lot of creative, fearless scientists, and it's hard to get this kind of funding. So I think that's the inspirational part, because it's an opportunity that's rare, where you're asked and encouraged to think on the edge, outside of the box, and to pursue your very best ideas. We just have begun to get the information we need to be able to see how things work, and it's still such a mystery, you know, how do you develop an organism, how does the brain work, I mean, these things are really not known. We don't know exactly what's out there. We don't know where the next uh, big discovery is coming from, and by having a program like this that really encourages scientists to go in these sorts of creative directions, I think we're making a very strong statement together that this is an important direction for science in the future. Science needs people with the courage to explore. And luckily, that's what has brought most of our investigators into the field. They have a natural curiosity and a natural passion to create the new. As we seek out new distinguished investigators and leaders, we'll also be funding a new breed of center called the Allen Discovery Center to navigate and map out entirely new areas of bioscience. To me, the, the, the Discovery Center is, is like, a, like a center of force. It's a, it's a nexus that brings talent to bear on uh, really important areas that remain to be discovered. One thing that's, uh, that's special about what we're going to do is that we're really going to address for the first time the information processing level of patterning systems. This is basically the key to most problems in biomedicine. It's going to be the key to not only regenerative repair, but possibly the key to cancer, maybe aging, lots of fundamental problems. And so that's what my center is going to study, is how cells and tissues decide what shape they're supposed to be, how they figure out how to make that shape, and how do they know when that shape has been achieved. It's clear that modeling, simulation, and computation are going to revolutionize biology and medicine. I've got together a team of incredible people, uh, world class in the space of biology, computation, and big data analysis, and mathematical modeling. Uh, we've all come together, and we're going to use that to attack the problem of antibiotic resistance in a global pathogen. And bringing all of those things together, I know we're going to make a difference that's going to change the world, not just in terms of that infection, but really creating a template that will be the future of how we treat complex disease. We'll also be funding Allen Distinguished Investigators who are creative pioneers working on small projects in new compass directions that can have very large impact. The Allen Distinguished Investigator program is particularly opportune right now because it brings together scientists who are doing fundamental research, curiosity-driven research, and offers them an opportunity to take their science to a new level. We have a mission. We're going to work on it together. We have the resources we need to make a big impact, and that's what we're going to do. The people we're funding are really like brilliant artists, but more than that, 
they want to create these masterpieces and share them with the world. So we think when you bring these two things together, the passion to create and the altruistic vision to share the new knowledge with the world, we have a chance to make the world better.